Well, hey, good morning, YouTube. What we're working on today is solar panel installations. I went out and got some uh, some U-channel iron, hoping that one stick was going to be enough to span both sides of the solar panels, and I'm just about that much too short. So instead of putting the Z brackets on the sides of the panels the way they're kind of designed, I'm going to move them to the the top and the bottom of the of the the solar panels. And to do that, I'm going to have to drill some holes in in uh, the aluminum frame that holds the panel, and then mount it to uh, the the U-channel iron that I bought. So I'm going to give you a quick close-up here of what we're doing, and then we'll commence to go from there. So what we have in front of us here are three 100-watt solar panels by Renergy, um, and you can see the channel that we've got. That I'm going to use to attach all of them together. Please excuse the use of a uh, broom handle as a pointer, but you see these oblong holes? You can see them in the sides of the uh, aluminum frame. They're about every 10 inches spread apart. That is to facilitate this right here. This is what they call a Z bracket, okay? The oblong hole bolts to the oblong hole there, and then the two smaller holes you use self-tapping screws to attach to whatever you're gonna attach it to. I can't do that because my channel iron is a tad bit too short. As you can see with them just laying um, butted up to each other, you can see that you know I'm an inch short there and then probably two inches short over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill my own holes at the top and the bottom of the frames you know, to accommodate uh, two Z brackets at each end. So there'll be four brackets just like originally, but they'll be mounted at this end instead of on the sides. Okay, and what this is going to do is this is going to mount one here and then one here, and then the channel is going to be mounted to them just like this. And then the channel itself will be U bolted to the roof rack up top, and that's how I'm going to attach them to the top of the roof of the van. So like I always say, stay tuned, watch this as it unfolds, be a part of the journey. So here we go. Now as you can see I've got the solar panels up off the floor so I can work on them. And um, this is the hardware kit that they all come with. Okay, This is what Renergy supplies you with. They give you four Z brackets. They give you the nuts, washers, and lock washers for mounting it to the actual frame. And then, then they provide you with uh, the self-tapping screws to actually mount this to whatever substrate you're going to put it on. So it's not a bad kit. This is what I'm getting ready to do. But instead of using it in the configuration like I was saying, with these holes, I'm going to make my own. I just want to figure out, I want to make sure that these are spaced evenly. So it's so a 21 inch frame, so it should fall on 7 inches and then 14. That should give me gravity. That should give me a 7 inch span and it's going to sit pretty much like this. So I'm going to have to be really careful when I drill through this that I do not hit the panel, the solar panel behind it. I think I'm going to find me a little piece of cutoff one by that I've got floating around here to uh, put underneath the channel when I drill to make sure that that doesn't happen. Biggest thing is I do not want to damage these solar panels whatsoever. And this is what I did is I just cut a really short piece so that I can slide it up up underneath the edge of the channel and it will prevent me from having the drill bit actually hit the solar panel as you can see It'll slide right up underneath there, just like that. And the drill bit will hit it as it passes through, and it will not go all the way through and hit my solar panel.
Okay, so what I've done here is I've got the, the nut and the bolt, the washer and the uh, lock washer installed, and then I've Loctited it as well because I do not want these coming free. This is going to be on top of a van, so there's going to be a lot of vibration. This is supposed to be, this is their, their RV starter kit, so this should be uh, uh, set up to where it can handle the vibration of going down the road. Um, but I want to make sure that I don't lose one of these just by, you know, having something silly happen. So I'm just going to take the time and, and put some Loctite on those threads to avoid um, having them come off. That, it only takes a second, so it is all good in the hood. Make sure that that Z bracket's right where I need it. And I'm going to tighten this bolt down. And I'm going to have to loosen it up. Because there we go, the Z bracket wasn't fitting flush against the frame. And I want to make sure that that is flush against the frame. And I see how I did it because I'm bumping it with the wrench. So we'll get it from this side. And there we go, people. That's the first two done. Ten more to go. All right, there it is, all installed and mounted to that um, U channel. Try not to jiggle the camera so much. That's that side. And then the same over here. And then here we go. Solar panels are installed. The only thing I've got left to do on those is just um, secure the channel iron to um, to the roof rack but all of the wires are connected and zip tied up out of the way nice and neat and I have to go through and um, silicone those two holes where those wires are coming out. All in all I would say that this process wasn't too bad um, getting the solar panels up once I put them all together I had to ask for some help to get them, in, get them up on the roof um, now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to uh, s secure them to the, the ladder rack so that way it, it, it's not going anywhere. Um, I'm really excited. I'm getting closer and closer every day to getting this project finished and getting on the road. Um, so thanks for sticking around. There's a lot more to come. So kick back and let's enjoy this together. This is the, the shore power connection that I was showing you guys the other day, but it, now it's all installed. And you see it's got the spring, spring cover. Matches the color of the van almost perfectly. And uh, that makes it nice, clean insulation and it's not unsightly. I'm not running a extension cord through one of my windows. I just pull up, pop the extension cord here, and plug it in shore power and I'm good to go.